Hey there, it's Lindsay Hazel from hazelhaven.com and in this video I'm going to share with you five ways to get started with live streaming. Be sure to stay until the end so that you can download my free PDF full of all of my favorite video resources. Okay, so just to give you a little backstory, last November I started a Facebook group called Creative Biz Haven. And I had this crazy idea that I would try to go live each week. And I have gone live each week since the middle of November inside my Facebook group. And that still scares me because video is something that I would have never thought that I would have ever done. But here I am now with a YouTube channel. And since I started live streaming, it has helped out my business so much. And I want you to just kind of learn how you could get started with live streaming and try it out too. It's scary at first, sure. But the more that you practice at it, the better it gets. The same way with doing these videos. The more that you keep at it and you just keep pushing through that fear, it does get better. So here are my five tips to help you get started with live streaming. Number one, test it out. So what I mean by testing it out is, you know, it's doing something like this where you're just looking at your camera on your phone and just seeing how you are on camera, making sure that you have the framing right, making sure that, you know, you're not looking up your nose or you're not looking you know, if you don't have a double chin, you know, or something like that. Um, I'm sure I'm probably not going to want to have that on YouTube. But, you know, those are things that you want to think about when you start getting on video, especially when it's live, because you can't edit it when it's live. Number two, keep it short. So what I mean by that is try to keep your live stream anywhere between five minutes and 20 minutes. You don't want to have it go on too long and you don't want it to just be too short. So try to share something like three tips on this or let's answer some questions or something like that. But if you do decide to answer some questions, be sure that you get those questions before you do your live stream. So you're not sitting there like, does anybody have any questions? <laughs> Number three, speak like you are talking to one person. This is probably the biggest tip that helps me with the video altogether. But when you're doing a live stream, it is especially important because you get on there and it's freaky at first and you're like, okay, I'm just talking to my phone. This is a little silly. But if you just continue and keep talking like you're talking to one person, just have that one person in mind that you know needs to hear what you're telling them and that will really help you continue through your live stream. Number four, have an accountability partner. Having someone show up live while you are going on camera is great because you know that they're there for support and it will really help you just get through it and not feel like you're just talking to your camera. I know it might sound a little silly, but just having that one person there for support will really help you get a little bit more um, comfortable doing your live stream. This can be your biz bestie, your best friend, your partner, your kid, your parent, you know, your grandmother, whoever. Make sure that you have somebody there for support to help you get through. And if you don't, that's fine. But when you do, you will be so thankful for that person showing up for you. Number five, put on something that makes you feel confident whether that's wearing your hair a certain way or wearing a favorite piece of clothing or putting on some lipstick. When I first started doing videos, I didn't wear any lipstick. And now I wear lipstick and I'm just like, whoa, look at my videos. They look so much better. I mean, I got, <laughs> I got into this lipstick called Lip Sense and this color is called Brick and I love it. I love it so much I started selling it. So yeah, if you're interested in buying any of this lipstick, I'll leave the link below. But you know, 
put on something that you're comfortable in, put on something that you feel good about, and that will really just help add to your confidence when you're going through this I'm going on live video. Okay, so I have two more things. If you don't like the video, you can always delete it. So if you go through a live stream and you really didn't like it or you're not comfortable with keeping it on there, then that's okay. You can delete it. It does not have to stay online. And <laughs> that's all you have to do, just get rid of it. And then you can try again. And the last thing, be sure to promote your live stream. So tell people that you're gonna go live. If you just show up and, <laughs> and you're like, nobody showed up, I don't know why anybody wasn't there. And then you realize that you didn't tell anybody that you were gonna go live, <laughs> that will be probably why no one showed up. When you tell people that you're going to go live a few days ahead of time, they will show up for you. So keep that in mind the next time you're gonna go live inside Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or anywhere else. But hopefully these tips help you a little bit so that you're not gonna get overwhelmed the next time you're like, should I go live? So now that you know how you can get started with live streaming, you can go ahead and get started right now. Below this video, there is a link to my free video resources PDF. You can click that link and download that right now. So tell me, have you ever gone live before? What tips do you have for somebody who's getting started with live video? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. So now that you know, so now you know a few ways to go why I make that lipstick face. <laughs> okay, we're done.